hi everyone welcome back to another video in this video we'll be learning how we can check internet connectivity in our flutter application we'll be learning how we can show a simple alert dialog when the internet connectivity of users device get changed and depending upon that we will be showing whether internet is connected or not so let's start the video here we'll be using this simple ui and implement internet connectivity check in this application in our my app stateless widget the material app has a home of home page widget and in home page we only have an app bar that has the title of internet connection check and an elevated button in center of a collar so what we want when we press this check internet connection status elevated button we should be able to know whether the user is connected to internet or not so for checking internet connectivity we'll be using this package internet connection checker plus now if we go by the documentation it almost supports all platforms for using in android we need to have android internet permission enabled so copy this and inside vs code visit android app src main android manifest.xml file and here after line 1 paste the permission for internet and save it and for mac os we need to add this lines of code in dot entitlements file just copy this and inside mac os runner the release dot entitlements file and paste it here and now we need to also add the dependency for this package just copy the name of this package and inside your vs code terminal type flutter pub add internet checker internet connection checker plus it will install the dependency now it mainly provides two method either we can check it directly by calling the internet connection dot has internet access it will either return true or false or we can stream over the internet connection status and depending upon that we can show the ui whether the internet is available or not so first let us learn how we can use this class first here we'll be creating a boolean value result and we'll make it as nullable by adding a question mark and then above the elevated button we'll have some text and it will show the connection status and here we can use the dynamic value of the result here we'll be saving true or false so if it's true then it's connected to internet and if it's false then it's not so if our result is true then we can simply show that it's connected else we'll be showing it's not connected and for elevated button we'll be using this await internet connection dot has internet access so when the user press the elevated button first we'll assign the result value to await internet connection dot has internet access and it will either return true or false and depending upon that after we can print the connection status that we are receiving after pressing the button and since we need to update the ui we need to also change the state so for that we'll use set state currently it's showing not connected now if we connect to internet and now if we press this check connection status it's showing connected and here also it's printing connection status is true so this way we can verify and now if we disable the internet and check the connection status it's showing not connected so this was the first example that you can use to check internet connection now let's stream over the internet connection status and show a ui that will change if the connection status changes first since we will be alerting the user in case of internet connection changes here in left folder we'll create a new file name it as connection underscore alert dot dot it will be used to alert the user that your connection has changes let's create a stateful widget 
let's name it as internet alert and you will be expecting to pass a boolean value that whether it's connected or not connected and depending upon that we can modify our alert ui so you will be having a final boolean is connected variable and we need to also add final formal parameters make it required because we'll be requiring to pass the is connected property and instead of placeholder we'll be using alert dialog since it will be alerting the user in alert dialog we'll be using the content and here we'll be first having some simple padding padding of age inserts dot all size of eight and then we'll have a child of column and the column will have children's and here we'll specify the main axis size to main axis min to take the minimum amount of area and main axis alignment here the main axis size will be main axis size dot min so that it takes the minimum amount of area and main axis alignment will be main axis alignment dot center so that we can center all the elements and cross axis alignment will also be center and here we'll be having some text and icons so that we can say that you are connected or not connected we are passing a variable is connected and it will be either true or false and depending upon that we need to build our ui so here if our widget dot is connected then we'll show a icon of green of sentiment satisfied else we'll show a warning icon and we'll also show a text if our widget is connected then we'll show internet is back else we'll show no internet connection so now in this way our alert dialog is ready we need to link this with our home.dat file but before that we need to stream over the internet connection status now if we go to the documentation we need to use this internet connection dot on status change dot listen to listen any changes to stream over the changes and we need to also cancel the listener when we are not using it so let's do it We'll create one more boolean variable name it as is connected and we'll be changing this value according to the connection that we will stream it will not have any value at first so we are making it nullable we are also creating a stream subscription and the name of the variable is listener and it will be a return type of internet status this internet status is from internet connection checker plus package here we are also creating a build context that is our dialog context if we show alert dialog then we also need to clear our previous dialog otherwise it will not look so great here we'll be using this listener internet connection on status change dot listen so similar to this inside our init state we'll assign listener to internet connection dot on status change dot listen and from here we'll be getting the status this status may be either internet status dot connected or internet status dot disconnected so here it will be providing us any of the two values and depending upon that we need to set the value of is connected boolean variable first we'll set the state and here we'll set is connected since it will be expecting true or false value then we need to match if the status is double equals to internet status dot connected in that case if both are matching will be returning true else will be returning false we need to add some logic so that we can display this alert dialog every time when internet status changes so here let's create a show internet dialog function and here we'll pass the status either true or false let's create a internet status dialog so now let's create a show internet dialog function here we are going to be expecting a boolean is connected either true or false and then here we are going to do two things first we'll be closing our previous dialog if previous dialog exists and then show our new dialog so for that reason we are using this build context dialog context to store the context that we are using and clear the context if you are not using so if our dialog context is not equal to null it means some context already exists in that case we need to use navigator dot pop to close the dialog context and here we need to pass our dialog context and else we'll show a dialog here we'll be passing the context as context and in our builder we'll store that context in our dialog context that we have created 
so that we can clear it later and then we'll show the internet alert and here we'll pass the value is connected whether it's connected or not and depending upon that it will show the UI and then we'll set the dialog context to null if the user cleared it manually and we need to also cancel the listener so in void dispose we will cancel our listener using listener.cancel now everything is ok here we can add one more text as stream connection status it will be similar to this but we are storing the value for stream in is connected so if is connected is equal to true it means it means that internet is on so in that case we'll show connected else we'll show not connected and after that just add a sized box so for some decoration so now let's restart our application so here it's showing no internet connection now let's turn on the internet and now it's showing internet is back so this is really great now let's press this button to check now it's showing connected so in this way we can easily show a pop-up whether the user is connected to internet or not now one thing to note suppose if you are restarting the app and we are connected to internet when we restart our app it will show internet is back but we don't want the user to show every time after launching the app whether the internet is back or not we only want to show if the user is launching the app and internet is not active so we need to modify that logic search so that if the user launches the app if internet is not there only it will show otherwise it will skip so for that you will be creating a boolean value is first time so if it's first time we will first check if it's the connection is if internet is connected or not so if it's connected and user is opening the app for first time it will be an unnecessary notification to show that internet is connected or not so we want to skip that part first we'll be checking if our internet status is connected or not and if it's connected then we need to check that whether it's first time or not so if it's not first time we want to show the notification for that internet is connected else we'll be skipping and if it's disconnected it means it will go in else every time we need to show the dialog and for the first time when the user open it will be the first time and after once it will not be first time so we need to also change is first time to false and now you will notice that if we restart our application here it's showing connected internet status is connected but it didn't show the pop-up and if it disconnect from network here it's showing the pop-up that no internet connection and now if we restart for the first time after we launch our application it will show that no internet connection and now if we turn on here it's showing internet is back and we can also check the status from here now you can use any of the two methods to verify whether the internet connection is there or not either the normal method for getting the boolean value or streaming over internet status so in this way you can check whether the user is connected to internet or not that's all for this video i hope you find this video helpful so bye